What's up, y'all? Uh, so the first time I stole something, I was seven years old and guilty by association. My uh, pops and I were at a Rite Aid, and he said, hold on to this, and he never asked me to let go of it. And this happened a couple more times throughout the years, and I always thought it was an accident because he would always be like, oh my God, that's an accident. Sorry about that. Uh, I couldn't tell you what he stole. It was probably uh, like some cheap over-the-counter cologne. My dad is like the dopest, classiest dude I know, but he's a sucker for quorum. Uh, that's an inside joke for anyone who knows what that is. You do. Uh, and later, I'm 12 years old, and I'm with my aunt in the same Rite Aid in Queens, and she has a five-year-old, and she tells her five-year-old, here, hold on to this, and she doesn't tell her to let go of it. And we walk out, and I think to myself, oh my God, this is not a Dominican coincidence. <laughs> this is stealing. <laughs> Flash forward, one year, I'm 13, it's summer, I'm in a Queens Jewish Y day camp, we're going on this huge trip, this is a big deal that it was a Jewish wide day camp because they gave me this bar mitzvah. It was a big deal in my life. Uh, and we go on this trip to Florida, five days in Orlando. We're going to all the theme parks. It's going to be huge. And one of our counselors says, okay, I want to do this competition. Meanwhile, these counselors, I thought they were gods at the time, but looking back, it's like they were just regular average 18 to 20-year-old kids with nothing to do who needed a job. Uh, and they say, whoever can steal the most stuff wins a prize. And I think to myself now, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, but they were also probably like, they're 13, what are they going to steal? It's an amusement park, it's not a big deal, they can't get in that much trouble. We lost our fucking minds. Um, it was five of us. Uh, we stole everything and anything, especially me. I don't know what was waiting to come out in me, but it was like crack or adrenaline or something. I mean, and meanwhile, it's Orlando, so it's just Chotsky City. So I sold like over 40 pens and shot glasses and mugs. And we used to be like, yo, man, distract that person. And we would fill up like our whole book bags with mugs. And we'd be clinking and like walking out and shocked. I put a Spider-Man from like Universal Studios in Inside my pants, a giant Spider-Man walked out with that shit. And I would just be like, doo -doo -doo -doo. it was a whole thing. It just wouldn't stop everything. Uh, two kids finally end up getting caught in Universal. It was a big deal. They brought the whole camp together. The police were there. The whole camp had to beg, please don't let anything happen. They sent them on a bus home. It was a big problem. You think we would have stopped, but no, we kept going. <laughs> At the end of all this, I ended up stealing over $2,000 worth of merchandise in five days. <laughs> this clapping is the problem. Uh, <laughs> and, and what's the prize I get for this? Besides what ends up being like a 12 to 15 year horrible addiction and problem is I get this mixtape, which in hindsight is like a mixtape that changed my life because it had some of the dopest hip hop on it. But, <laughs> Really, I become sick. I become a kleptomaniac. I'm 13 years old. I go back to junior high school. Meanwhile, I'm four foot ten at the time. Yeah, and I got like this crazy fro and glasses. Um, and I start pickpocketing. I'm pickpocketing people on the streets. I'm stealing things from book bags. Like, I don't know what I'm looking for or what I want, but I am just stealing and taking everything. I steal New York City Metro cards because if you go to school in the city, you get these like three rides a day Metro cards that work for the whole semester. And I would sell them to uh, business people for 60 bucks, which I actually thought was great. Uh, and until one day I saw this girl crying and I was like, no, 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 I'm not going to steal from people anymore. I'm just going to steal things. And so it kept going. High school, stealing things. College, stealing things. I have probably stolen over $10,000 worth of merchandise. Uh, easily $2,000 worth of supplements from Whole Foods. Um, <laughs> No, I am not proud of any of this. I once walked into a Dick's Sporting Goods. I don't know what I was looking for. Probably looking, you know, to, to get caught. That's what they always say, right? And I walked into a Dick's Sporting Goods, and I grabbed a tent, and I grabbed a sleeping bag, and I walked out. <laughs> and I didn't even go fucking camping. I'd never been camping. Uh, and it was just, like, fucking happening. It was, it, was a, it was a problem. Looking back at it, it's a problem. And... Uh, one day I'm in a Target and there's ink in my pants. The pants, it's, it's a thing. Uh, and I get tackled. 
outside, I get fucking tackled by a large man, and he's like, I was like, why the fuck did you tackle me? And he was like, you were running, and I was like, you're huge, and you were chasing me. What the fuck was I going to do? You should have talked to me. We could have had a conversation, and he puts handcuffs on me, and he arrests me, and they call the cops, and, uh, and man, whew, just like that, I wake up, and I'm sitting there, and I'm supposed to be in a show that night. And I'm not going to make it because I'm going to be in jail and I have to call my parents. And uh, everything on the outside is a really great persona about me. And that is not a great persona. And I'm sitting there and I'm waiting for the cops and half an hour passes and no cops. 45 minutes passes and no cops. An hour. Two hours passes and he says, I don't know what the fuck is up with you. But I want you to get out of here and never come back. And he takes the handcuffs off, and I walk out of Target. And the second I walk out, I see the cops in the parking lot. And I go to my car, and I cry, and I pray. And I do whatever I have to do, and I never steal anything again. And I can tell you, looking back, why did I steal things? It's probably just a bunch of excuses. I was taking from the man. They didn't need it. Fuck Whole Foods. Fuck this. But really, I was living in fear, and I was living in lack, and I was afraid. And to this day, I've never stolen a single thing, and it's easy. It feels easy, and I want to do it, but I don't do it. And that's my story.